We wanted drones that could be supported by us and make sure that we wanted the opportunity to listen to the farmers and make sure that we were building a quality, durable product for them. Hi, my name is Josh Robinson, co-founder of Series Air. I got into agriculture drones to meet a demand that my family was having on their farm and the challenges that they were facing with aerial application. So we started looking at drones and I bought my first drone, which was a DJI. I flew it less than 100 acres and before making a change actually over to the XAG brand. And while the XAG brand has been really good for me over the last three years, they still weren't meeting the needs of the American farmer. They weren't listening to the feedback that we were giving them over and over again about the changes that we needed. That I mean, is why we founded Series Air. We're standing here in front of the C31. You can see we've taken the hood off of this unit so you all can see the insides. I wanna point out a couple key features. One, you can see it has a 360 obstacle avoidance, but it also has a front-facing LiDAR, and has the FPV camera along with a virtual gimbal. I also wanted to point out how easy it is to work on this unit and with the hood taken off. I showed you earlier how and it's easy to get to these wires, but I also wanted to show you that each one of them is bolted in place and to make sure that we have really strong, solid connections. I mean, another key feature on this unit is it runs dual batteries I mean, to give us the runtime that we need to dispense the 40 gallon payload. Along with that, this unit was built modular. I mean, so quickly and easy, we can connect it and attach the spreader. So we're standing here with the T100. We've been comparing it today to the C31 in our design. One thing, you'll see that their tank is a high center of gravity, but also towards the back of the unit. We made our tank lower, we made it wider to keep that center of gravity right in the middle. And along with that, and if you if you look at their unit itself, and while it's a well-designed unit, the quality and the durability isn't there. And so one of the things I'd point out, and plastic motor coverage. And if you move down, and you'll see that they have a single nozzle on this unit versus our quad nozzles. And so we're able to put out a larger volumes. So when we need to do orchard work or vineyard work, we're able to do that with ease. We are talking about the P150 Max compared to the C31. And, and there's things that we really like about this drone. And one of the first things that um, we like the leg design. And it's very easy to repair this drone when it's in a crash. And it's something that we're looking at adopting and putting on the C31. Other things that we changed, I mean, and we don't like about this unit is the radar is a forward facing radar. And so you only have about 180 degree view versus R360. This unit is not equipped with a rear facing radar. Things that we do like, as you can see, it is a very small drone, but it only has 85 liters. And this drone has some really nice features that we like on it is the leg design. When this drone's in a crash, it's easy to repair. What we're doing is focusing on what the American farmers want. We've heard from the farmers was data security. That was something that we knew that we could change with Series Air. We will not only have our own server, but we will have our own IP, and all of those components will be made right here in America. And we're building, the flight controllers will be built in Springfield, Vermont. Along with that, the software is our own main software that's in the remote, and it will be connected to the cloud, and all of that data will stay on a US-based server. So we will be able to access that data to be able to help with warranty claims, to give you faster responses on exactly what's going on, to be able to get you back in the field quicker. We would love to have everything made in America, but the truth is right now, sourcing from China allows us to advance the technology faster than if we were doing it on our own. While we're taking steps today to already look at other sources and other manufacturers that can make those products for us. We're already making the ESCs and the flight controllers here in Springfield, and we're looking to see what other parts, starting with the motors, the frames, can be made in the next 12 months. We're going to the farmer and we're listening to what they want.
my roots come from farming and I wanna make sure that we're designing products for our fields and not only our fields, but also our crops. I mean, we have such a vast amount of agriculture across the states that we wanna make sure that we have products that are designed to meet every need, not just an off the shelf and adapted product.